Hi again, welcome back to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. Today's lesson is a very interesting one. It's one of my favorites. Why? Because I love to eat. Actually, a long time ago, before I was a teacher, before I did any of that, I went to culinary school. Culinary. I learned how to cook. I was going to be a chef. But then I worked in a restaurant. Actually, I worked in a few restaurants and I decided, no, I don't want to be a chef anymore. But I still like to cook. I still love to eat. So some of my students were asking me for kitchen vocab, some culinary cooking vocab. First, let's start with this question. What's cooking? Now, it could mean, oh, something smells good. What's cooking? It means what are you making? What dish are you making? But sometimes people will ask this as slang. What's cooking means what's happening? How are things? How are you? Just so you know, a good idiom to recognize. So we're looking at kitchen vocab. When we're talking about cooking, we're talking about culinary arts. In case you ever hear this expression, culinary means about cooking, about food. Now, before I get into these actions, some of these actions that you will use while you're cooking, it's a moral imperative that I spend a minute about these two words. What does moral imperative mean? It means that to be a good person, I must tell you something about these words. First, a chef. A chef is a person who studied cooking, went to school and studied, has worked in many restaurants and has practiced for a long time his art, his cooking skills. This person or her, this person probably has a diploma and is usually the boss of a kitchen in a restaurant somewhere. Now, a cook is a person who is just starting to cook or somebody who just makes food at home. Anybody can be a cook. So cook could be a noun, the person, or to cook, verb, means to prepare dishes. Now, very, 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 very important, and I must stress this. Cook, the pronunciation of this word is very important. It's uh, uh, uk, cook, okay? Cook sounds like, it rhymes with look or took or book, okay? Book, took, look, cook. It does not, not rhyme with rock or sock or lock, okay? Not. So if somebody says to you, oh, I'm a good cock, say, I'm happy for you. Bye-bye, okay? Because they're talking about something else completely. Cook. Be very careful about this word. Okay, let's get started. Let's say you're on the internet. You want to look for some new dishes. You want to surprise your family with a nice new meal from a different country, maybe. You get on the internet and you find a recipe. Recipe for a nice dish. But you're not sure about how to make it because you don't recognize some of these actions. Pot, pan, all these things you can understand. <laughs> my little stove here and my little oven here, I'm sure you can understand. Let's look at the actions. To saute. Now, this word actually comes from the French, but we use it in English as well. To saute means in a skillet or in a pan to cook lightly. So you have your pan, your flat pan, put a little bit of oil, put in your onions on the stove and you saute, you flip. You cook it a little bit till a little bit brown, and then you put other things in it or you add it to other things. Boil and simmer. These are very similar actions. Boil, you put something in a pot, like a, something like this and high, full of water. You put the heat very, very high. So boiling is very high heat, big bubbles, and very fast moving. Blah, 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 right? Like very boiling. So the bubbles go very fast and very high. Simmer means lower heat, small bubbles moving slowly. Okay? So when you're making a nice soup or a stew, first you get everything boiling and then you reduce the heat and let it simmer for like an hour, get all the flavors to blend together really nicely. Then you have broil and roast. So broil and roast, we're using the oven. If you want to cook something like very quickly and get the top like very crispy, you broil. Broil means heat from the top. So the heat is going like this onto the food. 
Roast means the heat is coming from the bottom and the sides. So it cooks the inside and it takes a little bit longer. Okay. Grill. Grill, like for example, when you barbecue, when you're barbecuing, you are grilling. You have the lines of the grill. You put your steak on it, then you flip it, etc. That's grilling, usually with fire, coals, lines. Next, you're preparing your, all your ingredients. There's another good word. You're preparing all your ingredients, all the things that will go into the dish. So you have to chop or dice. Now, if you're a chef, there's a difference between ch chop and dice. If you're cooking at home, there's no difference. Like, quickly cut. You take your knife, your cutting board, and into little pieces. The, the only difference between two, these two is the size that of the onion. Let's say you're cutting onion into little pieces. Chop, dice. Slice. Slice means you're getting la la larger pieces. If you take your onion and you slice, you have a nice round piece of onion and then you put it on your hamburger, very delicious. Fry. Anything that you do with oil, even sauteing is a type of frying because you're doing it with oil. Deep fry means you cover it with oil. Regular fry means just oil, both sides, away you go. Stir. So when you're simmering something, don't forget once in a while to give it a stir. Otherwise, all the ingredients, all the heavy ingredients will fall to the bottom and burn. Okay? Every once in a while, stir. Get it, everything rising up again. Get all those flavors mixing. Okay? So there. Now, I love to eat. I mean, I, I'm sure I don't look maybe that big to you, but I do love to eat. Please send me a recommended dish. What is your favorite dish? Go to ingvid.com. First of all, you can practice these words with a quiz. Second, tell me, what is your favorite dish? What must I try to say that I have lived? I need to know your dish, okay? Also, make sure to go to YouTube, check my channel and subscribe to it, and come again, visit us. Bye.